Hello to everybody out there. Um, this is Dave Hall. Welcome to our Seller Size program. Apologize for the delay. We were having some technical difficulties. There's always something that seems to be challenging us. We welcome you. Um, right now in Utah, we've been blanketed with smoke from California, and we've been told not to do anything too strenuous at all. So we're not going to do the exercise program from that, but we are going to talk a little bit about um, why exercise is so beneficial for children. And we're going to read some customer reviews. We're going to answer some questions. And I want to encourage each one of you to be writing some of your questions that you might have to us right now. Um, Brooklyn's behind the scene here. She can filter some of those questions to me. If you know people <clears throat> who want to feel healthier, want to have more energy, want to be able to perform with a better quality of life, please encourage them to join us tonight. And, and every couple of weeks when we do our program. Um, many years ago I was asked, they said, David, who's your target audience? And I said, people. And they laughed and they said, no, 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 you need to narrow your audience. And I thought about it and I said, no, you need to broaden yours. If you had any idea of the benefits that we've seen over the last 30 plus years of people that have used the seller sizer, you would recognize this isn't really optional. It really should be in every single household throughout the world. I believed it back then over 30 years ago. I believe it even more strongly today. The movement up and down to get lymphatic circulation moving, we have resistance on the cellar sizer. That's what helps move the fluid. If it was too soft, it would be sluggish. The cellar sizer is not sluggish, but it's not jarring either. So you get G-forces, a pumping action up and down that moves the fluid through the body, helps to break up sticky blood cells. We don't want blood clots. We want to have strong, healthy cell membranes so that they are more virus resistant today. And we know the weight-bearing activity of cellar size helps to strengthen the cell membrane in addition to muscles, bones, and other, every other area of the body. But having good health, having a good immune system, having great energy that's that's real important today and those are benefits that the seller sizer can give and if people have knee problems hip problems back problems shoulder problems digestion elimination problems weight loss issues muscle building bone density issues the seller sizer offers benefits for every one of those areas and then we address how to approach it so again please um, share any questions that that you may have so we're going to go ahead and start with um, some customer reviews. I've got Liberty, we have Justice, and we have Liberty's friend Ella, and want to you know welcome all of them. And we're going to have you read some of the incredible customer reviews we've received over the last couple of weeks. I can't read them all; they are remarkable. But I'm hoping that you will listen because. Whether it applies to you, more than likely, you're going to know somebody that's going to be able to benefit from what this can offer. So, Liberty, go ahead. Okay. Lori writes, David Hall, thank you. And FYI, I bought my first cellar sizer from you about 23 years ago at a health event at McCormick Place in Chicago. You have walked your talk. A huge inspiration. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Read this second. Yeah. Karen writes, I took your advice, Dave Paul cellar size. I put my cellar sizer in the room near my front door and health bounce every time I let my dog outside. It is so fun and creating a new health habit. Then it reminds me to select a routine on the Mr. Rebounder app too. Thank you for all your support. Praying, playing in more regularly now. Playing in. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Karen. Karen, and we had talked and we were talking about motivation. Because motivation can change. You know, we see that through New Year's resolutions all the time. People are motivated. They set a New Year's resolution, a month goes by, and they've kind of fallen off the, the wagon, so to speak. Well, motivation changes. It's not the same. We need to learn new ways of being able to motivate ourselves. And so one of the things that I shared that I used to motivate myself was to put the solar sizer in between the bedroom and the hallway so that when I was coming out of the bedroom, I had no option. I had to get on that cellar sizer to either step across or get on it and take a few moments to cellar size. Well, I'd get on it for a few moments and start to cellar size, and then I'd end up staying on it and doing a, a routine. 
And I tell people, if you can do nothing more than two to three minutes every day, those two to three minutes, that's the wake-up call for the body. The thyroid is doing this. The adrenals are doing this. The endocrine system is doing this. The moving up and down, you are weightless over 100 times per minute. And then you have weight on the body over 100 times per minute. It's weight bearing, not weight lifting, so we don't limit the effect. It's on everything. So um, that's how I motivated myself. The only caveat I would mention is that at nighttime, if you forget it's there, you will have little marks on your shins, and they hurt. <laughs> I've done that many, many times. But, um, but it was worth it. I learned how to do subtle sizing and... and they're right, I've been doing it now for over 30 years, and it's part of my, my daily routine. Justice. Okay. Go ahead. Amy said, Dave is the real deal, and so is the seller size. Everything he claims about the mat and spring is true. It's so freeing to feel like you can jog, jump, hop, dance with a forgiving but stable landing. My balance has improved for sure. When you do flex exercising, you're also going to find you joint your joints improved. I started rebounding in March with shoulder bursitis. bursitis. I had for 18 months. It's now July and I haven't felt my shoulders yelling at me in several weeks. <laughs> All right, Justice. Thank you. That's great. All right, come on up and share with you. Sam said, thank you. I don't I don't say much online, but I preach cell side to everyone. Just to get Two days ago, I typed up a long list of benefits to someone I had recommended it to the day prior. She is very interested. You are the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And that's from Sam. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Sam, go ahead. Okay, so Kelly said, I live in Seattle area where the fires are raging all around us. The air quality is terrible. I can just stay indoors with the air conditioning on and do all my exercises on the cell sizer. I don't have to go out to a club or go out for a walk or a run. It's so convenient. Thank you very much. And, and this is, that's what solar size is. And it's designed to be fun, easy, convenient, economical, safe. It's even portable. You can, I never leave home with that. All right, Amy writes, I packed up my solar size of a car travel today. I have a bifold. It was like five minutes to remove the bar, fold up and put it in her bag. After that, putting her in the back of my RAV4, Toyota RAV4, was super easy. I know this sounds like criminal activity, but I think I'll leave it for a comic catch. <laughs> okay, a couple of takeaways here. One, what a great piece of equipment. It has a smooth use in every way it was planned for, and my shoulders are so much healthier in these five months that lifting and carrying it and raising it to my car was easy for my shoulders to manage. Love my solar sizer and seven days without jumping was just too much to think about. So here we go. <laughs> Thanks, honey. All right, we, we're coming up to one that's good. It's just really, um, it's going to be a little more lengthy, but I want you to listen because it's, it's really powerful. But this is, this is a, a beautiful young lady. Her name is Terry, and she says, I'm so happy to have met my health and fitness goals over the last year. Down just over 50 pounds and feeling healthier than I have felt for a very long time. I continue to attribute reaching my goals to the Cellar Sizer. In fact, two of my coworkers have since purchased the Cellar Sizer and are also having great success. And she shows pictures of herself and her, the fact that she gained her, her, uh, her goals and she's a very cute lady. Well done. Thank you, Terry. Oh, okay. Um, Barb. All right. This is, this one's, well, you'll see. Hi, Dave. I wanted to share with you the success I've been having with my health since solar sizing using your beginner exercises. I do your basic routine several times a day until I reach 10,000 steps on my eye watch. I had bilateral knee replacement 18 plus years ago, so I do the leg lifts while stationary on the solar sizer. 
I have bone on bone in three different locations on my right ankle and I need to lower my BMI before they will do surgery and give me a total ankle replacement. I had a brand X rebounder for years but really didn't use it. I decided to look on YouTube to see if I could find an exercise routine to follow. I found several videos with people doing some pretty crazy exercises with additional equipment. I always like to read comments and in several of the videos I found a comment that you said that you really don't need to do all these crazy things to get the full benefit of a rebounder. The person went on to say that he had been following David Hall for years and it only takes 10 minutes a day with the right exercises to maintain your tone. I did a search for David Hall and the rest is history. I immediately started his 10 minute routine and was doing it faithfully with minimal results, but it was addicting. I liked the way it made me feel. My ankle was tolerating it. I was getting hooked on it. I had to make a trip to California and I didn't want to be without my rebounder. However, mine was a one piece, half full, and it was going to be very inconvenient to take it with me. I decided to bite the bullet and order a cellar size that I could travel with. All the comments said it was superior and that there was a difference. When it arrived, I was so impressed by the quality of it, I set it up and I could feel the difference in quality and in the feel of the platform or mat. I did my first set of the basic routine and thought I could feel a little difference. When I got on it a couple hours later, I really could feel the difference and could even feel a little soreness in my muscles. There is a difference and I am sold. The mat is more supportive and makes movements more efficient. My body gets a better workout. I also been watched every video David had on YouTube. <laughs> that, that could be a, a feat. I took notes and I thought to myself, I'm going to put it to the test. I noticed that my ankle quit hurting. If I were a betting person, I would bet the ligaments and muscles in my feet, ankles and lower leg have strengthened and are now supporting the bones in my ankle. I know I still will need the surgery because I don't have the full flexibility that my other ankle has, but the pain is gone, three exclamation points. Secondly, I read this cellar sizing increases red blood cell production. I thought that claim was a little bold and decided to put it to the test. I just had my yearly examination in June and for the past 15 plus years, my red blood cell count was low and the red cells I did have were very small. Since having O negative blood, that's rare, I was always being called by the Red Cross to donate, but I just didn't have enough iron and was unable to do that. Well, after cellar sizing multiple times a day since July 21st, I was given the opportunity this week to donate blood. I went more to see where my iron was than to donate blood. Where my iron was always several points under the baseline in the past, it was two plus points above. I was able to donate. Needless to say, I am thrilled and I know where I will be every eight weeks. I can honestly say my overall health is increasing. I feel my muscles are toning. I even notice when I bend my elbow, my biceps are getting pretty impressive. I'm losing weight faster. I have more energy. My lungs are stronger. I feel my balance is better and I feel that my body is more balanced. My core is stronger, my posture is better. I am sleeping better and I don't have to get up hardly at all during the night. I can honestly say I feel awesome. My skin is getting toned and I look younger than I am. In fact, Costco held me back from entering the store during senior hours last week until I happily showed him my ID. <laughs> I'm having such great results and I feel so good. Five of my friends have purchased their own cellar sizers. I don't understand why everyone doesn't have one. Thank you, Dave, for all you do. You are making a difference. Your staff is great, and I would like to give a shout out for Jerry for his great customer support. Barbara. That's Barbara, cool. is that great? So cool. That is cool. That's thank you. That's Barbara, and, and thank you, Barbara. It's um and thank you for sharing it with other people, which you're doing, all of you are doing that and it's making a difference in their lives. And, and I'm grateful for all your support and all the great comments that I get from, from all of you as well. It says, we're coming out of COVID, I hope. <laughs> and it became evident that I spent too much time on my rear. Time to get serious about using my cellar sizer with more intention than in the past. Let's give it 30 days to see what happens. I said to myself, time's up, results, Unfreaking believable. I am so much stronger. 
My balance has improved. I think more clearly. I also think I'm better looking. That's a good thing because tomorrow I turn 68 and I haven't felt this good in years. Nice work, Dave. I know you know that, but you make a real difference in people's lives. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Scott. P.S. Every once in a while I turn my head, turn on your old video with liberty and justice just having fun. They lighten my heart too. Hope you and your family are healthy and surviving the pandemic well. Yeah, they're growing. <laughs> But uh, thank you, Scott. That that means a lot. You, you, you guys are awesome. Okay, last one tonight. Um, I hope you're writing in the questions. Brooklyn is watching for those, and I want to be. Well, the whole objective of this is to support you in helping you reach your fitness goals and objectives, and there, it affects physical, mental, spiritual, emotional levels and. That's what we need to do. Just real quick, we live in a contentious world right now, and there's it's growing contention. And there are forces that are out there that are literally feeding and trying to feed that contention because it creates division among us. You know, I pondered this. I know all of you pondered this a, a great deal. And, and my feeling, my thoughts are, we're one great big family, literally. We're on earth, we have a physical body. Some of our bodies are light, some of them are dark, some of them are heavier, some of them are skinnier. We all, we're all different, but we're all the same too. We're together. And I really truly believe if we could stop focusing on fighting against the things that we believe are wrong and start focusing on promoting the things we believe are right, we'll create a unity and support for each other that will help us to be more tolerant, to be more accepting, to be more helpful, to be more kind and more loving. And that's how we'll create a healthier world. Yes, there's problems out there, I get it, but there's also solutions. And I'm gonna suggest again, rather than fight against that which is wrong, which creates contention, division, hostility, depression, frustration, all these negative qualities, rather than fight against that which is wrong, let's focus on promoting that which is right. Because that gives us hope and joy and peace and purpose and love. And as that grows, we will find a way to bridge the issues because we'll be more concerned and caring about each other. Anyway, I want all of us to recognize the Sellers High family is one family. We're here to support each other. I thank you for that. Um, it means the world to you and to, to me and to many of you that have had a chance to be a part. So again, thank you. Amy writes, here's another lesson learned. For a little while, I used a body weight gym as the center of my home exercise. This was when I started. This was when I started wanting a mini trampoline, but to accomplish circuit training. The more I looked, the more I wanted one. I had a cheap product or two before realizing the cellar sizer was out there in the universe. The cellar sizer is easier on my joints by a long shot. My body weight gyms are good for some things, but as crazy as it sounds, they hurt my back. You'd think lying down, however, however their mechanics include a weight source that is leveraged behind your head and weight that is therefore still external. I would still keep mine and use it for some things, but I had to accept that my back was not enjoying it. In the meantime, with the three months I used my cellar sizer exclusively, my low back health really improved as well as the bursitis in my shoulder. That's a combination. And again, thanks Amy. Oh, I hope this post is in keeping with the rules as the intent is not to dis um, any other products. No, we're not. And, and thank you. And, you know, we can do any number of different exercises if you want. They're great. They're wonderful. If you incorporate cellar size in anything you do, it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to have better results. If you like yoga, great. Cellar size first and see how much more balanced you are in your yoga session. In fact, let's do that test that many of you have seen me do. 
Ellie, you've never been on this outside. Nope. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's in for. We didn't tell her. <laughs> so but what I want you to do is come right over here. We're going to have you just stand like this. You're going to take a horse stance. Kind of lower your center balance a little bit. Put your hands in front of you like this. Thumb right there. Elbows right in. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do okay. is I'm going to push straight down. And I want you to try to resist. Try not to move. Okay. So you're going to... See, we're going to see how strong and how balanced you are right now. Okay? All right, now I'm going to push straight down. Ready? Yeah. Okay, resist. Now, as I push straight down, she came right over. Now, let's do it again. You're strong. Okay, now watch. Ready? Resist. All right, I'm pushing straight down, and she's getting up on her toes, and then she's coming over. But she's strong. Watch this. Come on, on the silver side. Okay, now I want you to take your hands, put them up on the trapezius muscles up here. These are the muscles that help up, hold up our posture. They're the muscles where we get lots of stress and tension. As these muscles get stronger, they support our posture. Our skeletal system could never support itself. It's, it needs the, the muscles, and ligaments and tendons, etc. So grab these muscles, hold on to them. Now I want you to bounce up and down. Yep, just keep going, do a little bit more. Just like that, keep going. Now, can you feel the muscles expanding and contracting? Yeah, there's weight on them. You're weightless, weight, weightless, weight. One of two things is gonna happen here. As you keep going, you're either gonna get shorter and shorter, mm -hmm. you won't. <laughs> Your muscles are gonna get stronger and stronger. When you put weight on the muscle, they adapt to the weight by becoming stronger. But that increase of weight, those are through G-forces. So pumping up and down creates a G-force of acceleration, deceleration, and gravity. So acceleration and deceleration, keep going. As you're moving up and down, the cells are accelerating and decelerating, which is simply weight to a cell. You have three forces working on the body right now, not just one. So it's working from the inside out, internal organs, connective tissues, the fascia, collagen, they're all having to adapt. Now grab the delts, right, grab the shoulders right here, squeeze on those muscles and bounce them down. Can you feel the muscles flexing? Mm -hmm. Is it quite a bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. This is how we help to improve shoulder flexibility and strength because it's opening up the shoulder and working on the muscles and ligaments, increasing circulation all at the same time. Okay, now grab the biceps with the fingertips, just squeeze the muscle and bounce up and down. Good. Can you feel the weight on the muscle? Yep. Yeah, it's either gonna flop to the bottom of the mat, it won't. It's gonna tighten and tone all the way around the arm. If that weight is on every cell throughout the whole body. Take your hands, dig them around your waist, dig into those stomach muscles, Squeeze those muscles. If you bounce up and down, can you feel them flexing? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing over 100 sit-ups a minute. She's doing over 100 of these a minute. She's still doing over 100 of these a minute. She's giving herself a facial. She doesn't need the facial, but she, the moving up and down helps us tighten and tone and strengthen all the collagen, all those protein fibers. She's challenging her balance and equilibrium dramatically. We can do this at any age. Balance is lower, nothing to do with age. Nobody is born with it. It's a physiological function. It is challenged or it is developed by challenging it. Babies do the same thing the moment they stand up in a crib. They don't have balance, but this helps give it to them. Okay, now are you favoring one side of the body over the other? No. No, you're not. You're bouncing up and down equally. So if you have an imbalance in the body, the hips are out of alignment a little bit, and you're moving up and down equally, hips move, muscles move, everything starts to move, especially over time, to support your natural alignment. Now let's now let's step back down. We're going to take the same position again, and we're going to we're going to see if there's any difference in your balance as we uh, challenge it again. Same thing. Okay, ready? Now you're going to try just like you did last time. Ready? Okay. Resist. You feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. This is like this is like we have a competitive advantage in, in athletics for kids, for their balance, their timing, their rhythm, hand-eye coordination, the ability to do well in sports. When you have that kind of strength and balance and, and flexibility, you're gonna perform and people are gonna notice the differences. So let's do it again. Okay, and right. Okay, ready? Okay, resist. Look at that. <laughs> totally balanced. Now in Tai Chi, yoga, martial arts are trying to create that kind of balance in the body, but they can't, they can't get to the degree or level that you can get on a subtle side. So if you want to have a great Tai Chi or yoga experience, first subtle size to get that balance and then see how it affects your performance. 
it's 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 remarkable what it can do. Thank you. Thank you. You can sit back down, but um, all right. So isn't that great? Isn't that great? So the children today, you know, there's a lot of them that have become solar size or couch potatoes, right? And they're on their computer a lot, and they're on their handhold devices a lot, and it is affecting. It's affecting their health in many different levels, in many different ways. One of the things that we do in our home, and, and it's very, very, I mean, we do it every day, is we'll do a Mr. Rebounder exercise routine, and we watch television. So we just put it on the monitor or on the phone, and we'll watch a television program. We'll pick one of the routines. So if you have a child and you say, if they want to watch a show, say, that's fine, you can watch your show, but let's we're going to put on a routine and you do you pick a routine we've got beginning intermediate advanced seniors so you pick a routine that you want them to work on and they can work on the routine on the phone while they watch a television program and then they're not just becoming a cat potato they're actually getting the benefits of exercise you can find that 10 15 20 minutes can fly by while you're watching the show and your cells are not just dormant or stagnant. They're expanding and contracting. The cell membrane, you're feeding oxygen and, and nutrients, you're detoxifying. You're, you're getting all these benefits while you're watching the show. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. I actually, whenever I did this exercise, I would actually get on my computer or my iPad and I'd set it right in front of me. And I'd exercise and I'd do like a 20 minute workout or a 10 minute workout and I'd watch my TV show and like the solar sector doesn't make much noise and so you're just listening and you're watching that and it was really weird because it said workout over but my like TV series was still going and it was really confusing but it goes by really fast and if you watch something it helps pass the time but that actually really works because I did that forever and it was really Thank you. Really Thank you. Thank you, Justice. Liberty, what do you like best about the solar sizer? Because you do it every day, too. Uh, I really like how when I do it, it's not as hard as it seems. If I'm in the moment, it's hard. But after I'm done, I get a lot of results much more faster. Whereas if I was doing a different workout without the solar sizer. So that's what I like most. Good, good. Yeah. And, and it's fun. Oh, you have yet to experience this. But <laughs> we have... Uh, and for those who, who know it want updates we've got uh, we're going through testing right now on the additional movements for the mr rebounder app when i say the movements for those who don't know you've got um, if you want to we've got over 30 pre-made routines um health bounce back kick here you've got all, all these additional routines that all look like the same little symbol we don't have the pictures on them yet. Those are going to be new movements. So for the, the back and the, the biceps and the, the chest and the, the neck, we've got neck, several neck movements. Um, we've got movements for the shoulders, several shoulder movements, lots of shoulders. Lots of shoulders. <laughs> and, um, and those will all be um, additional movements that we'll be able to add to the routine. And as far as the new module is concerned, we have that now, and I'm gonna, we're going to show it up on the screen, because I don't know if you saw that last time. But if I go to settings, we're going to have a connect Bluetooth device. So I've got the little Bluetooth device. I think you saw it last, last time. Um, I, it fits underneath the mat. It's just a little device. And when I turn it on, it goes from red to green, and then when I connect it here, it goes from green, it'll go to blue. And so right now it's connected. So now if I go to my routine, my exercise routine, say advanced, you'll see up on the screen, you should see up on the screen, <laughs> oh yeah, the moment I hit my routine, when I go to play start, I get this little orange button over on the side. If I hit the orange button, it gives, and you'll see this, it will give the, uh, the intensity, it's got an intensity meter that you can see right there. It's got a, uh, the number of jumps that you're doing. It will show the number of calories burned. It will show you the amount of time 
between this and the next move. And then when you're done, it actually records the routine. You'll go through the whole routine. It'll count, you know, if you want to burn 250 calories. If you want to continue, you can continue and burn over 500 calories. If you want to, um, to uh, count the number of jumps to 5,000, which is, you know, I've done that. It's been, it's fun. You can count up to 5,000 steps on a routine. And you're able to, to save your programs in what's called the My Activity section. So the My Activity section will go through and it will show you um, on the various different days how many calories you burned, how long you did it, um, and, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of a neat, kind of a neat routine. All right. Questions? Brooklyn, go ahead. How is jumping with heavy weights? Um, not real comfortable sometimes, but, but fortunately, on the cellar it's not weight-bearing. So if you tighten your body and then bounce, you're giving yourself more support and you're getting the exercise. And the question was, how is cellar sizing with hemorrhoids? So as you're moving up and down, if you're tightening, you're helping to support that area while you're opening up that area and increasing circulation as well. This, um, we were talking to somebody a little bit earlier about uh, um, prostate. And this, this gentle movement right here, we're moving the shoulders up and down. Great for the back, the shoulders, but it's also great for the prostate, massages, all those areas of the body. Um, yes. Someone says, I have so much pain today on the spinal area of my shoulder blade, and it feels like a pinched nerve. I'm wondering how to get relief. Are there any specific moves or stretches I can help you through that hurts so much? And once you're here, okay, talking about a nerve issue in the scapula area behind the shoulder blade, um, where it's, it hurts even to breathe, and those are not comfortable. If it's inflamed and it's irritated, the muscles tense up, knot up, and that nerve is, has been compromised. One of, the, one of the techniques that I've shared with people is where they lie down on the cellulocytes actually lay down so they're complete, their back is completely supported, put their feet up on a chair, and in fact, let's do it, let me demonstrate, let me put my down right here, Justice. You're gonna put your feet up on the chair, and uh, my back side's gonna be toward you, apologize for that, but go ahead and lay down, and we'll don't have a little, a little pillow or something on your head. So kind of big. Um, okay, move your arms out to the side, and I'm, I'm going to turn toward you, but normally I'd be turning toward him. And we just gently bounce up and down just like this. The movement takes a vertical pressure off of his disc as he's lying there horizontally. Liberty, can you turn that chair sideways this way so he can still put his feet on it, but the back is over here. Yeah, three. And so as we're just gently bouncing him down, then we can rock side to side. It's taking the pressure off. So we're laying down horizontally. We can help move circulation, reduce inflammation, open up the space in that area of the body. So very often, very often it can it can provide immediate results, and we've had some great examples of that. Is that the pillow? <laughs> okay. So this gentle movement up and down. It's just for people that have had back issues. It's one that I teach chiropractors and doctors and massage therapists as well because of. Um, the incredible experiences and benefits that people have from it. It's okay. actually very soothing. It's very comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I recommend it. Yeah. yeah, we've actually, when he says that, he's not kidding. Um, in live lectures, over the many years I've done this, we've actually had three women and one gentleman, while I was lecturing, I was doing this with them, and when I looked down, they were gone. They're just they were gone. It is so incredibly relaxing. We do the same kind of thing with a baby when a baby is fussy. But when, uh, when you're under pain or when you have a hard time sleeping or when you've got a lot of stress or tension, that, if you can find somebody to do that with you, you're both getting the benefit. You're not bouncing off the mat. You're bending the knees up and down, pushing down into the mat. And they're getting the benefit, but so are you. Any others? Um, 
someone's having a problem with their knee, it's arthritic, and she's wondering which exercise would be best. Okay, problem with the knees. And the knees is, um, the knees obviously are supported with muscles and ligaments, and those, when they're compromised, when the, the strength or support around the knee is compromised, either through injury or weaknesses, then we get more pressure on the joint. And over time, we can wear out the joint. When we start to restructure and build the supporting muscles, ligaments around the knee, we've had amazing results with people of all ages and all kinds of conditions. And there's, these are techniques that I designed. And again, if you have an issue, consult with your doctor, health practitioner. I'm not here to take their place by any means. I'm not a doctor. I train and teach doctors in my methodologies. But if you have a medical condition, then that, that needs to go to a doctor. But that being said, one of the techniques that I teach doctors and trainers and health practitioners is to focus on the whole front part of the knee. And we do that first by simply spreading our feet part apart, bending the knee slightly, and walking in place, pushing down into the mat. This is working all these muscles. As we keep our back straight, we keep the weight right there. If we lean forward, we put it on the back. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep our back straight. As we do it flat-footed, these are the muscles that are being worked. To work the lateral knee, both sides of the knee. And it's very gentle, not putting a jarring effect on the knee. You're simply targeting the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. And then for the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, walking side to side is a good way to start. And then eventually, we can hop side to side. As we're hopping side to side, we're working the hips, thighs, both sides of the knees. And if you want to go skiing, you're working the thighs and the knees by doing it that way as well. But you build up to it. So start off gently and easily. Yeah. Sure. Um, also, one thing I'd say is I actually did the skiing and I actually did the walking things. And I did it slowly every day. And it actually does help if you go slowly. It just didn't feel like I was like, this isn't that hard at actually and so then I just increased and increased and increased and I could do it really fast and it's actually really fun and it feels like a good workout so I'd say the exact same thing and he, he really I, of all the people I know he was doing it extremely intensely and uh, it <laughs> guys it worked <laughs> so yeah good good um, what does the gem on the missing Butler app represent what is what the gem the gem, the, the figure? No, so. Oh, oh, the rewards? The re it, right now, it's just to let you keep track of your, your, your activities, what you've accomplished. So every time you finish a routine, you can build up and you just see that, hey, you're getting closer and closer to your greater health and fitness goals and objectives. Eventually. If we become really, really successful, no, not yet. When we become really, really successful, I want to open up and create a community. And we're working on that right now, as a matter of fact. That's our next step in the Mr. Rebounder app as soon as we get this completed. We're going to open up a community so that people can share with each other the routines and the experience of the Mr. Rebounder app. And if I, if I can, um, my my objective, again, I don't know what the future is going to bring, but I would love to create a support program where people reach certain levels and they get certain rewards, and and be able to 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 be able to provide that. I'm not in a position to do that right now, but um, that's where that's where I'd like it to go. Is we have a program supporting each other, which in and of itself is going to be really exciting but where people can also get to certain milestones and levels and hey they can claim they can claim an award so we're working on it and i'm only limited by not not certainly not by my dreams and my vision it's just my needs <laughs> go ahead are there any special exercises for inflamed nerves in the feet and toes that could help alleviate the pain yeah like neuropathy yeah that Circulation is key, it really is. Uh, and you have to keep working on it. Um, standing on the solosizer, lifting the heels up and down. People that have given us comments that have had neuropathy have said that they have felt a difference. 
after about 20 minutes of solo slides, we've had other people say that once they started solo sizing, it seemed to arrest it, it didn't seem to get worse. Um, we've had other people that have done solar sizing and then they also do foot massaging. So they really, they'll get the circulation working, they'll, they'll work on their foot, and then they, they will work on massaging their, their foot as well. So I think that's a good idea. And that's hopefully. Um, do you have any recommendations um, if you live alone to help relieve that um, scapular pain? Yeah, okay. That, the scapular issues. The gentle movement up and down is a massage. If there's a nerve there and it's inflamed, the muscles are tense, it, it can take some time. But this gentle movement here is a movement. Um, we've got other movements that are going to be adding to the Mr. Rebounder app. That include steps such as, and you, some of you have seen me do this before, you hook underneath the arm, you kind of pull the shoulder toward your chin and gently, and then just when you feel the stretch, just stop. Gently bounce, allow the movement to massage the, uh, the tension in the muscles and ligaments. And some of you may not be able to go even that far to begin with. That's okay, you don't need to. You just go to the point where you feel a little resistance and gently bounce and allow the movement to massage um, any of that stress or tension. And that can help open up. There's, uh, there's additional movements, but those, those, are some of the, those are some of the simple ones. The shoulder itself are these movements here that you've seen me do. You just hold each position for a few moments while you're bouncing. In the side, but the scapular area, this is the one that I felt has, has been really helpful. And then there's other movements that you will see on the Mr. Rebounder app, additional movements that we're adding that will also address that. Any other? Okay, let's go through some of these. I've had my solar sizer for four weeks and I've read in one review about using the I dream of genie position to fight bat wings. The flaps under my arms, but I haven't seen it demonstrated. Could you show what it looks like at 70 with two knee replacements? I'm pretty much doing health bounces with a jamba block and marching in place to play in. <laughs> Love it, guys. Um, I'm able to do my health bounce without holding the bar and want to try the I dream of genie position while bouncing. Thanks so much. Well, I dream of genie was this movement here. And that's interesting because that does create resistance. So when you're pushing down and pulling up, you're gonna get a, um, the, the muscles are gonna tighten as you're doing that. And, and then you're bouncing, you're putting more weight on the arm. And then you do the same thing the other way. So that would be, that would be the, uh, the movement that, uh, that is working those muscles. Another one, of course, is where you hold here and push down and that's gonna really work the, uh, the back of the arms as well, and then do the same thing on the other arm. And that movement up and down, so you've got resistance for, for toning, but you also have weight bearing. That's for building. And the increase of weight can help the skin and the collagen, which are also protein fibers, to firm up some. Now, we don't know how much it varies with each person, but how do you get a skin cell to do a push-up? You cellar size. It's weight bearing on everything. So the body becomes more resistant when we apply more weight to it. Okay, how can bodybuilders and athletes benefit from rebounding? Well, we talked a little bit about that, but they did a study years ago, Dr. Larry Getman, PhD, at the National Aerobics Institute in Seattle, Washington, where they showed that 30 seconds of rebounding in between each circuit and station could increase the results up to 26% faster. That's huge when you stop to think about it. Did you feel stronger when you got off the solar sizer? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're tearing down to build up, it's a different methodology. It's not natural, but it's a manipulation of the body, and you can do it. But if you're doing it, you want to get rid of that lactic acid quickly. Get rid of the swelling, increase circulation so you can promote faster healing and, and strength and nutrients to that area of the body that you worked. That's what solar size does. The movement up and down helps to release the stress, the tension, but it also helps you to be stronger. So when you go to the next set, you have more strength that you can pull from or draw from. 
so the results can be faster. That's pretty exciting. As far as athletics is concerned, there are so many benefits to cellar size. How many people do you know that exercise in an unbalanced state to become strong in an unbalanced state? Let me explain. There are a lot of activities where we have to move around. And when we're moving around, we have an opportunity to be thrown off balance. But if we're exercising in a position that's off balance, then we can become strong in that position while we're off balance, whereas our competitors never do. So if we're tilted backwards a little bit, for example, and we want to leverage weight and really work the core of the body, we can kick our legs out in front of us. I'm at this angle getting strong at that angle. How many people are doing that? Not very many. Kicking out side to side, kicking in front. We work with horseback riders as well, performers, because they need to be strong when they're moving and they might be out of position. The same thing with any athletic activity. So yes, it can be very beneficial. I love playing in. I've had my solar sizer for a little more than a month. Am I expecting too much too soon to being able to do the twist? I'm in my early 70s and 50 pounds overweight. Thank you. Am I expecting too much too soon to being able to do the twist? Okay. No. <laughs> this, so we start, it's graduated movements. We start off with a baby bounce, and you've been on it a month now. You can start off with a gentle twisting side to side. And with the feet in the same position, we simply lift the heels up and down and just start to gently twist. This gentle movement right here is putting our colon and our intestines or a little washing machine effect, taking the liver, kidneys, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, and the adrenals, all those internal organs, are gently being massaged every day. I don't know many routines that do that, but that's, that's what this solar subject does. So, um, yeah, good for you. What's the best three exercises to burn fat using the solar sizer? Best three exercises, okay, one, cells need oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. We need to get oxygen in the bloodstream. I do that by opening up the bronchial tubes and lungs. And by the way, there are advocates of just getting more oxygen into the bloodstream increases metabolism to burn calories. So one of them is, and you see me do it, is, and you'll hear my voice when I'm done because it changes it. It opens up diaphragmatic breathing, gets it out of the one third of the lung. Most people don't get enough oxygen to. And it's just done by moving up, breathing in, coming down, breathing out. And it goes like this. And when you're done, you can hear the difference in the voice. So it opens everything up, but it, it also um, makes sure you do that when the air is, <laughs> is good and clean. Okay, so that's one. And the other one, um, which I think is good, is just the aerobic exercise, which is running in place, lift your knees up. This is a good exercise. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. You can do the jamba run. That's the third one. That's, I don't know of anything <laughs> that burns more intensely or gives us the results. And I've been through it too is to bend at the knee, keep the back straight, feet flat, and just, just run in place. That's, that's a, <laughs> you will love it and you will hate it, but it works. Okay, um, should I do the baby bounce barefoot with planters feet problems? You can wear a soft sole slipper if you feel you need a little bit more support. Planner's fasciitis and those issues, they take time. The cellar sizer helps to loosen up the tissue over time. You're gonna get more movement in the foot, but if that extra movement initially is bothering you, then wearing some soft-soled slippers or a little additional support can be helpful while it's loosening up those muscles and ligaments. I don't advocate wearing shoes. There are some people that will, but the problem with the shoe 
is that it's more restrictive in its flexibility. And so the foot loses its ability to support your natural alignment. It's only able to support your alignment based upon the flexibility of the shoe. And when we go out and do something more strenuous and the foot doesn't have that flexibility, that's when we can actually tear uh, the fascia and, and supporting tissue un underneath the foot as well. So um, I, I'm an advocate of doing it barefoot as much as possible or soft sole slipper or slippers or socks. I would just like to sell the, a subtle size routine and healthy habits advice to reduce the size of my gut. <laughs> well, number one, don't do sit-ups. Nothing wrong with it. You just have strong stomach muscles that nobody can see. You got to burn off the weight. And you can have real strong stomach muscles in there, but if you don't burn off the weight covering the muscles, it's not going to do a lot of good. So the aerobic activities, the Jamba Run, um, that'll burn the excess fuel wherever you have it. It, again, it's just, it's not the amount of time, it's the intensity. If you do real intense routines of it to, to increase metab metabolic processes while you are also burning weight, um, just repetitions of this one. Jogging in place is good if you tilt. It works the core, but it's not gonna do a lot for losing weight because you want a good intense aerobic exercise for that. Anything else, Rickland? Can size help a nine-year-old with scoliosis? Solar size, I believe, can help anybody with scoliosis, especially when you work with a doctor or a chiropractor. Because a chiropractor makes, I'll tell you my own case, I had a little curvature in the back. I've been five, ten and a half my entire adult life. We measured me yesterday, right? What was I yesterday? 5'11. 5'11. Half an inch taller than I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, you are what it is. It's, um, the, there are movements you can do on a cellar sizer. When a, a chiropractor makes an adjustment, the muscles often, they, they're not used to the new alignment. And they can pull through our habits and activities and the tightness of those muscles. They can pull us right back out of alignment again. We've got to go get another adjustment. We have a great many chiropractors. I love them. They've taught me a great deal about cellar size. But when a chiropractor makes an adjustment, when appropriate, they'll have their patient get on the cellar sizer and gently move up and down. What's happening? The bones are staying in place, but the muscles are now flexing around the new alignment. So the muscles that are tight are gently starting to loosen up. The muscles that are loose are starting to tighten up. And we've had a great many chiropractors that have come on board with this as a result of their patients. When they've gone in and the doctor has asked them, said, wow, you're holding really well. And, and they'll tell them why. They'll tell them, yeah, I started cellar sizing. And the doctor says, what's cellar sizing? And that ends up leading to a conversation. And often I have an opportunity to call and talk and speak with that chiropractor. And we've had some, some great, really, really, really great conversations. So, anything else? How okay. soon will the upper body routines be added to the mystery jumper app? They're, they're actually, we're going through them right now. We've got them cleared for iOS. We just haven't made them available yet. Uh, we're testing right now on the Android. Um, some Android device that was working okay. There's a few had hiccups. I know what it's like having hiccups with the Mr. Rebounder app. We did that years ago, and I want to make sure we're past that. So we're, we're testing the Android right now. So we're thinking, we have our, another board meeting tomorrow, we're thinking about a week to two weeks we should have it, um, maybe sooner, but a week to two weeks. And we'll also have the monitor we've got. Maybe next week we'll, we'll make some of the monitors available. Um, I'll talk to our team tomorrow. We don't have the packaging done yet, but we do have some of those little monitor Bluetooth devices that were some of the um, the prototypes that we've done, we've got the prototypes are just as good as the new ones are going to be. And we might make some of those available um, until we get the, the new ones launched. So again, I want to say thank you to all of you for making this happen. This has been great. We're, we're in, you know, we're dealing with a lot out there. We really are. Being on the Cellar Sizer, 
thinking happy thoughts while you're on the seller's sizer. Don't think angry thoughts. <laughs> it leaves a strong impression on the brain and the nervous system. It's important to think happy, good thoughts, turn on good music, turn on good show, whatever, something happy, something healthy, um, while you're seller sizing. Uh, you don't want to reinforce negative energy on a seller sizer because your nervous system, your brain activities respond to what we say, think, and do, and how we feel. So, I want you to reach your greater health potential. I want you to enjoy greater quality of life. And I want to thank you for being a part of the Solar Size family. Remember, you don't need to work out when you play in. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.